Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks on Mercy Boxing. I've seen other YouTubers do this, like Nana and Daphlis, so I decided to do one myself. And I have someone joining with me joining with me today, and it's Advil. And he was going to be helping me demonstrate some of the um, tips and tricks. So without further ado, let's get started. A dark power calls you forth. Tip number one, always res when it is safe. Even though you may be able to carry it on your own, it is not always guaranteed. Being able to res someone when it is safe is a big advantage to you. Having at least one teammate with you can change the course of the game. Tip number two, always dodge melees when it's the right time. People can easily come at you from more than one angle, and you can only watch from one direction. If more than one person is coming towards you, you should always fly away because you can't always kill both people. You can super jump out of their way, fly to a body from away from the enemy, or you can use Valk if you have it. Tip number three, always be patient. It's good to be aggressive, but not all rounds have to go quickly. If you're too aggressive, you will easily be countered. You should always take your time and not always to get the sex temple. Even if you pick them off very slowly, you still win at the end of the round. It's better to take it slowly rather than try to kill everyone quickly. This also goes for being too passive. If you allow the enemy to be able to res, you will be outnumbered and your kills will mean nothing. Tip number four, use third person. Third person is a new technique that has been added to custom games, and it's very helpful in Mercy Boxing specifically. On many of the maps, there are a lot of places you can go into and use third person to catch someone off guard. Although this means that you can stay in one spot and wait for people to come at you, this doesn't mean that you should spend the entire game hiding. It's better to do this when someone is chasing you and you have a corner near you to hide at. Here are all the spots you can use third person on. Tip number five, always go for the weak targets. Valkyrie is a huge advantage to players. It allows you to fly up very high and also move very quickly, which makes it hard for you to hit players that are using it, even though you can wait Valk out. Never guaranteeing that they won't go for you. This means that you should go for the people that don't have Valkyrie because they are easier to kill. Tip number six, cancel GA to bait melees. Mercy's normal cooldown for Guardian Angel is 2 seconds. In most games, it's 1 second. This makes it easier for you to spam cancel Guardian Angel. If you use this technique correctly, you can use it to bait out people's melee so they are defenseless and become an easy kill. Tip number 7. Time your melees. Even though you may be good at Mercy Boxing, ping is a big advantage. You may not always be able to kill someone because you might have 80 ping compared to another player's 30 ping. This makes it hard to kill them because they don't have to be cautious of their ping. If you're in a situation where you have high ping, always try to either bait out their melees or time your melees correctly so you're not doing it in their face, but rather right before you make it to them. Tip number 8. Play around your souls. Your dead teammate's souls will not always end up in your ideal spot. If this is to happen, you should always fight where your souls are. Never fight without souls around you because then it becomes a game of who has better ping. This also helps in Valkyrie because you can force people to go in the alignment of your soul so you can fly away and catch them off guard. Tip number 9. Always be with somebody. Even though it's cool to be the solo carry, you should always stay with someone. This applies for the air battles and land battles. In the air, it makes it easier for the enemy to kill you while you're by yourself 
with no one to fly to on the floor. Most people will go to you if you are by yourself since you'd be outnumbered. Tip number 10, have fun and keep your cool. It's easy to get triggered or tilted in games, but you shouldn't let someone's behavior or skill affect how you play. When you get mad, everything goes to your head and affects your gameplay entirely. If you stay calm and focused, you'll do better 100%. Looking at you, Pixie. Tip number one. Always res when it- Shut- it, <laughs> Okay, wait, so, okay, I gotta start again. Always res when it is- when it is- wait, eh, I gotta start again. <laughs> Always res when it is safe. Even though you may be able to carry it on your own, it is- <laughs> <laughs> Always res when it is safe. Even though you may be able to carry it on your own, it is- <laughs> <clears throat> Have a pause before you read the description, okay? A what? Have a pause, like, pause, like, <gasps> collect yourself. Okay. <clears throat> Tip number one. Always res when it is safe. Even though you may be able to carry it on your own, it is not always guaranteed. Being able to rest someone when it is safe is a big advantage to you. Having at least one teammate while you can change the course the <laughs> of the game. <laughs> Tip number one. Always rest when it is safe. Even though you may be able to- oh, wait, I forgot to pause. Tip number three. Always- Wait, what? <laughs> I'm wait, supposed to read did... number two. This you... is all gonna be one for- Wait, wait, wait. I thought you read two! Come, 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 come.